So today we're going to do some pre-Pilates exercises mixed with a few traditionals. It's really easy, it's a lot of spine stretching, we have a few different stretches for areas that I'm sure you'll be needing since you've been stuck indoors. Um, so basically we're going to start in a QL stretch, so it's going to come around quadratus lumborum around the side here, which is going to be tight if you've been sitting on the couch, lying in bed, sitting at the computer, and so forth. So to start out, you want to lie down, straightening out the bottom leg and bringing the top leg in front, okay? You're going to have your hand down on the ground, pressing into the forearm, lifting up the underside of the rib. Press down with the top hand and the bottom until you pull your ribs away from the hip on the floor. Open the leg, open the spine, and make sure that your back isn't rolling back. You want to keep it tucked under. Taking a deep breath in, lengthening the ribs up to the ceiling, and you should feel a pull around your lower spine. Holding this, breathing in, and exhale to come down slowly, so you don't want to recontract the muscle as you go down. You want to be very gentle with it. Taking a little rest here, deep breath in, and press up, make sure to keep that foot flexed and lifting yourself up. Pressing nice and strong, using the back of your shoulder girdle, don't allow your shoulder to roll in, so keeping it open through and inhale and lift. And exhale, coming down nice and gently and we're going to go to the other side. So very important with this one to make sure your bottom leg stays as straight as possible the whole time because it'll want to bend your hips or want to come back because that's how the QL contracts the spine along the back here. Taking a breath in and as you breathe out you're ready to press up, open, shoulders are down, chest is open and exhale to come down slowly, releasing out. Deep breath in, and exhale. Press up, anchoring that hip down, lift those ribs away. So lengthening the muscles in the side body, shoulders are down, and holding up here for another breath. And exhale to come down. Taking your legs up, we're going to sit in a wide open stance here going a little bit deeper into the lateral stretching before we move on to our full spine stretch. Going to inhale and exhale, floating your arms up, shoulders are down, and we're going to rotate around to the left. Take a hold of either your foot or wherever you can reach on your leg. Hold, reach the other elbow up, and really try and get down as far as you can. You can bend the bottom arm, Try to reach the top elbow to the ceiling as much as you can and avoid collapsing down. You want to keep your ribs aimed at the ceiling. Hold, deep breath. Expand those ribs up. Try to make sure they reach up to the ceiling so you separate in between each rib. And up. And then we're going to go over to the other side. And side bend, reaching that top arm up and over. And deep breath in and really open up those ribs and up to the ceiling and just once more over to the right reach and lifting up and one more this is especially good if you haven't done anything in a little while and you're going to need to limber up before we make you do anything too strenuous. Just like me, I've been at home for a few days. Hands are coming down in front, chest open. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, we're going to bring the head over and the chest and curl the spine. Imagine your navel is going back out to behind you as if you've got a fish hook coming from your navel out the back. So exhale and one, two, three gradations of that exhale, really nice and flat with the pelvis. Inhale and you roll yourself up, breathe in. And exhale. 
exhale coming down two three down and rolling up sucking those abdominals in really open up each joint of your spine and last one breathing in and down two three let that head go let your tension out of your neck and rolling up one vertebrae at a time rolling those shoulders back. We're going to move into an arching curl now to start bringing that stretch into the lower spine as well. So coming over onto the side, feet flat on the floor. Try to keep your toes anchored. You don't want them curling up. Knees should be in line with your feet. Hands out in front and shoulders are down. Deep breath in and exhale. You're going to create a C curve with the spine, taking that lower spine back as your nose looks to your pubic bone and inhale to sit tall. And exhale and curl and inhale to sit tall. Exhale and curl back, giving your ribs back to the wall behind you. Deep sink in the abdominals. Inhale and tall. And exhale, going a little bit further back now. We're turning this into an abdominal exercise. Using the abs, holding back. And inhale, rolling back up and the head follows. And inhale, exhale, curl. And now we're going to hold in this position, scoop that abdominal in. And we're going to take a reach back with the left arm, looking at the palm. So you look down at the palm as the other reaches away, but your pelvis doesn't move. So your hips are going to want to shift from side to side. You hold really still. And to center. And we're going to go other side. Exhale. Scoop. Inhale. And exhale and scoop. Inhale, center. Really good for those obliques, holding nice and strong. Center, one more, and up, and the other side, center, inhale, deep scoop, pull that fish hook in, coming up, and opening the chest. Straightening out the legs now, we're going to go into a roll down, so this is the next progression along, so we're going to articulate the spine. The first thing you need to do with a roll down is lift up out of your hips. Make sure you're not sagging and compressing your lower back. Inhale. And exhale, we're gonna take, lift, take that spine back, touch it down, keep the shoulders down. Imagine back here, it's like you're getting a hug from behind, you're leaning into it, rolling yourself down, deep scoop all the way, and opening up the arms overhead. Inhale to lift the head and the arms, flex the feet, scoop the abs and coming up one vertebrae at a time, all the way, arms tall and down. Inhale, exhale, curl, roll down, all the way, nice and gently. Arms up overhead, you can point the toes and stretch. And inhale, lift, flex feet, scoop, and lift up to sit tall. Now if you find any issue in your neck with this one, try to take it very slowly. You don't want to take the breath and try and wrench yourself up all in one go because that can really hurt your back. So if you have too much issue just coming back up and down, up and down, you can just stay here, lift, and just come back just a little bit and up. So what that'll do is that'll help engage through your multifidus in your spine and it'll connect it, reconnect it with your transverse in the front. So you lift and you get that separation of the spine, which is what you want to do the whole exercise. And that's what's going to help your neck from getting so rigid and coming up with the rest of your back. Anyway, we're going to go on now. We're going to go all the way down. Scoop. And lying down. Placing the hands by your side and bending up the knees. Inhale. 
inhale and exhale we're just going to focus on engaging through the abdominals again so as you exhale you strut through your pelvic floor lower abdominals and up inhale to relax imagine with this one you've got an elevator at your ground floor and as you exhale you're drawing it up level one and level two inhale back into the ribs and exhale pelvic floor and abdominals we're going to move our leg now as well as the breathing engage inhale to prepare and exhale we're going to float that right leg up to tabletop holding it still and lowering it back down on the inhale and exhale floating the left engage and lift and lowering down nice and slowly exhale and lift and inhale and lower onto the other side and exhale lift going to hold that leg there now inhale and engage lifting the other leg up so you have both legs at a 90 degree angle from the hip the ribs are down and you scoop in your abdominals as much as you possibly can and from here we go into our toe taps breath in and breath out to tap down and inhale up exhale tap inhale up now these are most beneficial when you don't hinge anymore at the knee it's actually quite a struggle to do them and talk so from here if you were to bend at the knee it will go down just here it's not actually that difficult because you're not engaging in your core you're not keeping that lever system intact best thing to do keeping it where it is in this position and tap away inhale to lift exhale to tap inhale to lift and we're going to do a few more last one take a hold of your knees bring them into your chest and just give yourself a little roll to help rest your lower back I'm going to take both legs up to the ceiling straightening point the toes and keep your ankles and your knees glued together inhale over to the left exhale down around and up inhale to the right exhale draw the legs down around and up this is called corkscrew holding really strongly through your abdominals don't let your pelvis rock from side to side inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale inhale and two more each way one side last one and knees into your chest giving them a little bit of a hug now the next exercise you can either do with your head down if your neck is getting sore or you can progress and have your head up so i'll show you both we'll start with the head down version and we'll do it in a low tempo so it's a slow burn okay so we're going to take both legs back to straight extend your arm taking hold of wherever you can reach on that first leg lower the other leg down scoop your abs in take a breath in and exhale pulse twice and inhale to swap now if you're comfortable you can lift your head up and hold and and now we're going to go 10 in double time and a one two three 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold, legs back to tabletop, hands behind the head. Holding nice and still, breath in. And exhale, we're going to rotate around, extending through the elbows. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Knees into the chest. Roll down. Deep breath in. Relax those abdominals and you can give your spine a little bit of a roll if you need to. From here we're going to go into a little bridge to help strengthen again the multifidi in the spine. Hands by the side. Take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to tilt the pelvis, tuck, roll, press that sacrum into the mat first, then the lower spine, mid spine, feet flat on the floor, rolling all the way up, all the way up, deep breath in, and exhale, peel yourself down, one vertebrae at a time, all the way, deep scoop, and touching down, breathe in, and exhale, and curl all the way, make sure each vertebrae touches down, all the way up into the shoulder, really press down with the feet, so you can lift up through the glutes, you shouldn't be sagging here at all, because that'll put the strain into your lower back, so keep nice and lifted, reach the fingertips down, and roll all the way down. That's it, very nice. And we're going to go again and exhale up, all the way up to the top, deep breath in. When you breathe in, don't breathe into your stomach, breathe into your ribs. So you don't want to go and lift it up here because then you've lost your core stability. You want to breathe, pushing down nice and firmly out to the side so my core is still active my glutes are still active and my knees are facing in front of my toes and exhale coming down for those of you who have shoulder issues with the next one just move gently this is just meant to mobilize it's not going to cause you any excessive strain but you will need it if you've been drawing if you've been cooking if you've been at the computer been turned in this whole time when have your arms had an opportunity to open up and relax okay breathing in exhale coming up curl lift hold up here imagine you're pulling your heels back towards your glutes inhale and exhale float those arms up to the ceiling so they're nice and high Reach them back over your head. Circle the fingertips on the floor, opening up the shoulder girdle. Plant them back by your side, still holding strong. And up. Reach and open. Bringing them back, lifting up higher. Float. Reach behind you. Circle the arms overhead and back and up, overhead, hold, lift higher, lift, press with your feet, breathe in and as you breathe out now you're going to roll down but keep the arms up overhead all the way down to rest. Now circle the arms back, inhale, exhale, curl, lift all the way up, hold, squeeze those glutes, float the arms up, bring the arms overhead, lift up higher, breathe in, exhale, we're going down again, really separating each vertebrae, all the way down, 
tailbone down, circle the arms. And inhale, exhale, we're coming up, lift, lift all the way, hold here. Now I'm sure your glutes are screaming a little bit at this point, but it's only going to get worse from here. Take your hands, place them under your hips. Do not round the shoulders, open through the chest. Inhale, exhale, we're going to place all the weight onto our right leg and we're floating up, extending the left leg up to the ceiling. Really keep the hips lifted here, come down, inhale. Last one, and bend, lift those hips back up. Really, you can, you can put a lot of weight onto your hands. You just want to be aware that you're still using your glutes, but do support your lower back in this one. Inhale, exhale, and float. Straighten and flex. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and down. Lift and lower. Bring your knees into your chest little roll we are going to do that one again just relax for a second take a deep breath and feet back on the floor hands back by your sides and inhale exhale tuck curl lift all the way up and hold breathe into the side of the ribs and placing the hands on the hips, nestle them in, lift your hips up nice and high and floating the leg up, extend the leg straight, flex, point, flex, point, last one, up and down, lift those hips up all the way and up, straighten and flex, point, flex. Point, last one, up and lift and rolling down all the way and holding knees into chest. Now, the good thing about this exercise is it helps you to engage your glutes in a way that keeps your pelvis nice and stable, nice and open through the chest. If you have any wrist issues at all and you're finding it too hard to keep your hips up in that position, just bring your arms by your side. You can practice lifting one heel instead if you like. It's just something that is going to help deactivate your hip flexors that have been on this entire time where you've been sitting. Alright, so now we're actually going to turn onto our side and do some clams. So hands down, we move both knees over to the side, heels go directly in line with your sit bones. Coming down all the way, you can either place your head on your bicep, so you can roll it up like this, have your arms straight out, or you're at home, get yourself a pillow, it's whatever's comfortable for you, but make sure you do have a little gap between your waistline and the mat here, because you want to make sure that you have a nice long hip. Head down, inhale, Exhale, we're going to squeeze the heels together and open up your top leg. The knee goes out on a diagonal. Inhale, down. And exhale, up. And inhale, down. How do you know they're working? If they're not burning after five, check you're squeezing your heels together enough. You should squeeze them to the point where you can feel your glutes turning on, doing it nice and slowly to ensure you get a really lovely slow burn. Exhale and lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. 